i saved up 127 gold keys 16 artifact keys and today we're gonna open all of it what's going on guys cheers today i've pretty much just been playing call of dragons all day i'm probably like a day behind everybody else so i've been just trying to grind a little bit okay now during this day of grinding i think i spent maybe my free gold chest and 10 of the keys but i wanted to save these for a video i wanted to do this together with you guys because i wanted to see just how much value we can get out of a large chunk of gold keys being opened all at once now there's a couple things that we have to know about these gold keys okay for every 10 of them that we open we are guaranteed either an epic or a legendary hero that's a really nice little pity system that's built into the gold chest here now if we also click that little question mark okay you can see here that the chances of actually getting a legendary hero just just summoning a legendary hero is about one percent okay it's a little bit less let's just call it one percent chance here you can see we have a little bit over a three percent chance of summoning an epic hero down here it's almost a five percent chance of getting an elite hero and then of course we have the different medals for both legendary and epic and we have elite levels of speed ups resources and then we have just the advanced version of all all that stuff basically so at the beginning of the game right now i have just i just hit 200,000 power and i'm going to collect some of this stuff here so i need pretty much everything here but i want to see how many legendary hero shards can we get here in the video okay hopefully with over a hundred of these keys we can get at least one full summon of a legendary hero and this is per reward and when you open up one of these gold keys let's just rip one open because i know you want me to, you're, you're sitting there waiting for me okay i know i want to do it too i think that this is there's a, a one percent chance for each of these right so it's not like there's a one percent chance of getting one out of a key there's four different uh chances to get that one percent i think that's how this works with that being said here okay we didn't get anything too exciting out of our first key but we're just getting the garbage out of the way that's just that's just how this is we got the garbage out of the way and here we got a legendary metal and let me tell you guys these i've i've seen these in the goblin market or whatever that little hut is that comes around once in a while these are expensive in the early game okay they're like 400k wood or something like that that's big expensive and boom you can see there we got our tchotchka okay uh tchotchka is one of the gatherers so we want to finish off i think his I, I already maxed out his first skill i got his second skill i think the three or four so we're we're close to finishing or getting tchotchka to where we even really care about you know after after the after the gathering skills we don't care about him here you can see we got the athos token okay we got a full summon of Aethys. I think remember that's only like what a three or four percent chance so we will take it okay we will take it and again uh, I'm so I haven't pretty much I've opened almost none of these keys so I have so few shards of all of these heroes even the epics uh it's it's actually crazy so pretty much everything that I get here uh in terms in, in terms of shards and heroes is gonna be huge okay um here we can see I got Kella uh she also is almost finished and we did get another legendary medal here which is really really good here we we got the epic lucky metal okay so this grants a medium number of star points so more than your regular and you can see we get gold here and this is a little bit confusing because in other games gold is like a really hard to get resource but in this game it's like the most common of all them so seeing all this gold is like psychologically I feel like it's really good but really like that's basically the equivalent of getting food in a game like rise of kingdoms okay here you can see Aethers really loves me which is surprising because I'm not a huge fan of that dude's haircut uh every time I look at him it just I'm like what is wrong with you but he seems to like me so does Chachka, and I'm actually cool with Chachka, so that's fine uh let's keep it going here we're getting a bunch of resources and stuff that's fine the ore is good the research speed ups we love speed ups at this point we're early 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 game we we really need pretty much all the speed ups that we can get uh and here we're not getting too much look we're getting a bunch of the blues and some of the athus we haven't gotten anything okay okay boys there we go okay this is my first unlock of guan Wing. okay this is the first time that i'm getting my hands on her which is huge because she's a peacekeeping hero and she's one of the best peacekeepers in the entire game so this is actually a really huge pickup now if you guys started spring wardens this is not that exciting to you because you've had her since the beginning uh but for me that's huge let's actually take a look here um for every like five or ten of these you open you get a universal epic hero token so that's really good i'm sure this will uh slowly die down uh it'll probably be every 10 and then every 25 and then every 50 or something like that but for right now that's huge let's go ahead and add another skill to kella and you can see here that we're one skill away from finishing her uh 
her gathering skill right here and I think Chachka is good yeah he's in the same exact boat here so boom that is actually huge let's let's keep it going here let's keep this let's keep it moving all right let's see what we get at this point and we get uh some lucky legendary medals so that's pretty good okay I'll take that we got some more of the purple ones cool 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 you have the epic titan medal and this gives you a large number of star points when in, when promoting that uh hero to the next level so that's really good here we got another legendary lucky medal that's awesome here we get another legendary medal pretty much legendary medals are going to be they're going to definitely be a bottleneck in the early game i know that they're not that exciting because they're not really like uh you know a, a hero shard or anything like that but we're going to need it and here we see more of the blue heroes not stuff that we really care about pan is huge though pan is huge she is the best gatherer in the game right now at the time of recording this uh, and i've been pumping all my universal purples into her and now ooh, we can do it i'm not going to waste the universals though because we don't know maybe we'll actually get her okay maybe we'll actually get her from some more of these pulls i'm hoping that we do uh we have uh, we're down to 100 now i don't know if you saw that this is we are at 100 at this point so we still have a ways to go here side quest call to arms uh we're gonna see a bunch more of that pop up throughout this video i feel like i haven't gotten anything good so far i haven't gotten like any shards of any cool legendary heroes or anything i feel like i'm kind of getting oh baby let's go dude that is actually huge this is what his name is garwood i think uh this dude looks like a skylander but he looks absolutely incredible this is a legendary infantry hero let's go he's a tank i'm gonna move my camera over here so we can take a look here it says heals slightly wounded units in garwood's legion healing factor of 1200 and grants them resistance reducing all damage taken by 20 percent for four seconds universal hp right here that's huge increases defense of all infantry units in the legion by 20 and all healing they get by 30. okay this feels very much like richard if you guys have played rise of kingdoms that's what this feels like to me has a 75 percent chance to increase physical damage dealt by 30 percent for five seconds when healed so every time he uh, pops his active skill there's a really good chance you're going to deal a lot of extra damage as well uh, and then the expertise bumps that healing up to 1400 bumps the duration up from four to six seconds that's a really long buff here uh and that's that's pretty cool all right so we got a super tanky uh look at my boy yo he's giga chadding right there he's like you're not getting you're not getting past me bro i think the design on this uh hero is it's quite cool it's quite cool i like that uh so there we go that's our first legendary of the video that's awesome let's go ahead and we get we get nothing okay okay before my luck runs out i'm gonna try and use a little bit more of my luck to get you guys to drop a thumbs up on the video please that would help up the channel a ton it'll help this video getting out into the algorithm it pleases the algorithm god and it doesn't cost you anything except a second all right let's keep it going let's keep it moving here and we get another okay this is not legendary this is epic okay he just throws that poison vial he said get that out of here all right this is what's his name i think it starts with a v oh no it's alwyn okay that's right there it is dude master of poisons right there all right uh here we have what's ordo or something like that yeah ordo token uh he's the other blue i don't really know what he, he's basically just for like building things building like roads and construction basically that's what he's for i guess i i don't ever see people using him for like pvp or anything else so that's pretty much it oh wait a minute this is a legendary this is another legendary this is a legendary is this not right his name is uh what, what's his name bro this dude oh my god we got emery's that's right bro oh okay we got two legendaries already we still have so many more keys to go whole okay so he is a cavalry hero pvp mobility okay close range damage here deals 1500 to a legion just straight up big single target damage here we see second skill gives him a buff that increases his rage accumulation speed by 40 percent for five seconds you can trigger this once every 30 seconds that's a long cooldown oh my god okay uh all cavalry units gain 30 percent attack 10 percent march speed all damage dealt by emery's legion is increased by 10 percent 10 percent all damage that's really good that's straight that's flat flat all damage emery's legion also deals 15 percent more skill damage when attacking targets that have been surrounded that's huge because you can decide if a target is surrounded or not by just sending two armies to hit it okay now of course you know you probably want to have fast armies so you can stay uh close and, and hitting them and things like that but that that's crazy here we can see his expertise actually gives him another skill it says when attacked you have a 20 percent chance to gain passion increasing rage accumulation by 20 percent for five seconds here it was 40 percent for five seconds if emery already has passion it is removed granting 100 rage instantly that's 
crazy two second cooldown so he's going to be a rage generating machine if he is expertise that is crazy otherwise his second skill uh has quite a long cooldown and here you can see we got bakar as well which we already had from our first gold key ever which i did off camera but uh we got bakar so that's lit okay we still have 89 keys to go and we got two legendary summons already look at this dude's uh look at his weapon it's just floating there he's not even holding it he doesn't even need to okay and here we get uh more of kella okay we got more of her we're gonna definitely be able to finish her second skill by the time this video no way no way bro we just got another 10 to... oh, oh my god okay hold up hold up i bet you we have we have two of the five dollar bundles popping i am about to purchase both of these for those of you that don't know this is one of the best bundles in the entire game because for five dollars and it depends on what country you live in but it gives you 10 universal legendary hero tokens and you also gain 1300 gems as well as a bunch of these legendary medals and the lucky medals and five gold keys and i just got two of these so we got 10 more gold keys to open in this video baby let's go we're back up to 96 gold keys so let's keep it going ladies and gentlemen let's, let's skip this real quick uh we got a bunch of green stuff here a bunch of resources which again we do need uh but you know not that exciting okay i'm getting i'm getting a little bit hyped because we just got a bunch we just got three summons of legendaries like right off the rip that that's crazy okay so here we're getting more blues and we get more of well what's his name waldir that's right this is the one that i started with because i'm Le league of order i should know this okay uh this is good i've actually found he's quite good uh, at defeating you know pve content he's a very just universal long range mage he's just like your standard frost mage and i think he's he's solid so i'm happy to see that here we got more of hello more of those epi, epic uh, lucky medals we got another legendary medal over here let's keep it going here another two more legendary medals I'll take that that is huge uh we don't really care I feel like Ordo is like I, I mean he has his role but he's like the least exciting um hero that I could be getting from this at this point so yeah that's 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 pretty much it uh so let's keep it going here we got more Bakar okay Bakar I haven't used him too much on this account I used him in the in the beta I haven't used him too much here so uh we'll have to see if he's any good in uh you know PvP or, or anything like that in the early game obviously late game you're gonna want to do mostly legendaries in PvP but it, it is what it is okay so um we're getting a bunch of resources here one thing that I did notice and Pan sorry I should be pointing this way now that I moved my camera uh Pan is actually a huge pickup right there you guys already know this uh if you've been watching my videos if you guys missed my beginner's guide that's like 40 minutes of super important information if you guys haven't played Call of Dragons yet that's going to be like the place that you should start absolutely it's going to give you everything you need to know to start this game the right way and save up over a hundred uh of the gold keys that I had here in this video no way we got three of this dude we got three of the this a one percent chance what yo we got 69 gold keys left let's go that's that luck of the 69 right there holy okay what 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 is going on here I cannot believe this dude I, I just we can get that active skill straight to three straight to three for, for for free dude we're just using gold keys that we got by playing the game that's actually insane that's gonna be a huge pickup all right let's keep popping these chests open and I like I like how the animation here there's just like gold dust just pouring out of the front of this chest like it's it's just ready to be popped open it's 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 interesting okay to say the least let's see what we get here we got something go no way what this is this this has got to be rigged there's just there's just no literal way that I well, it's either rigged or I don't know math or both probably both to be honest with you I'm like turning red because I'm sunburned from vacation but also because I just literally can't believe like I want to scream but I also don't want to get evicted you know so this is this is an unbelievable somebody needs somebody needs to help me figure out what what are the odds of that like what are, what are the literal odds of this how do we still have 68 keys I don't understand what's what's happening here am I gonna get another Emery's what's his name <laughs> I don't know but here we got a, another Aethys which we've gotten a bunch of this video as well so that's that's sick we got a bunch of resources I feel like I mean is my luck gonna run out here or are we just gonna keep getting the same legendary over and over again I kind of want to get like all of them that way I can start to use universals on the ones that I really care the most about uh and also we can get that that bundle to pop every single time which is like of course huge for the early game because it's it's so cheap and it's great progression but okay we're just gonna open up a bunch of keys here we get uh what's this dude's name here Alwyn okay we got we got Alwyn that's right I just unlocked him I'm I'm it's still the game is still so new to me that I'm struggling to remember all the names of these different uh these different characters 
characters and unlike you know games like rise of kingdoms which use actual historical figures this game doesn't so it's hard for me to it's a little bit harder for me to like remember all the names and stuff like that so anyway we're getting a bunch of uh bunch of average common regular stuff here okay so that's that's fine i'll take it this is good we get a bunch of ordo i don't know what i'm gonna do with him yo he's 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 not even not only is he not that great he's also kind of ugly to be honest with you here we got some craig which you can actually get from the uh the event that comes around at the beginning of the server or at the beginning of your account so we already had craig as well but he's got the mobility tree and i feel like mobility in this game is more important than pretty much uh any other city builder that i have played on mobile uh, i'll make a video talking about that later but here we get more of wild Deer as well so that's huge we already got a bunch of him just by playing the game so um the sooner we can start to get more of his skills up the better because he's like the one hero that has the most amount of skill ups for me right now that actually can deal damage to like pve content here we got nico another legendary Enough. I these are a one percent chance and i've gotten five of them i've gotten five of them in this video what in the world okay so nico is a marksman hero he's got engineering which means he's good at building and destroying things buildings and stuff in the open field and he has the precision tree as well his active skill is medium range deals physical skill damage to one target 1400 and inflicts a defense reduction of 15 percent for three seconds his second skill increases this engineering by 15 percent when building barricades and alliance buildings and by 15 percent when destroying barricades and buildings so just more of what he's good at all marksman units in his legion gained 20 percent attack and 10 percent defense when casting rage skills nico's legion gains onslaught and repost increasing normal attack and counterattack damage dealt by 20 percent for five seconds second seven second cooldown so not only is he going to gain a huge single target damage and debuff on that active skill he's also going to increase his the, the white numbers the normal and counterattack damage by 20 percent that's a really powerful buff here and his expertise here is an additional skill that says when you launch a normal attack on a target that already has the defense break which he applies with his active skill they have an 80 percent chance to deal additional 200 damage factor so tons of single target damage here uh the marksmen in this game uh they don't have the longest range and they're not the fastest but they do really pack a punch and i feel like there might be a pretty good niche role for nico in the game as well so that is huge guys another legendary which means another legendary trailblazer bundle oh my goodness this is what i'm talking about just from the different summons in this video i gained 50,000 power so i get three more gold keys for that we're never gonna run out of gold keys for this video boys so when you first summon a hero you'll see them walking around in your city here you can see garwood over here and if you click on the little uh, speech dots right here you'll see that he actually wants to talk to you and if you go through this for the first time with every single hero they're actually going to give you the same thing no matter no matter what rarity the hero is they're going to give you the same rewards and one of those rewards is a gold key and here we have guanwin and emery's over here look he's not is that a horse or a moose what is that an elk perhaps so that's two more gold keys we get for free dude nico just rides around that ballista through the city that thing is an absolute unit that is a literal that is a literal tank he's just riding through the through the town okay we have no room for that nico what are you doing we are back up to 52 keys let's keep it going we started this video with what 127 and i feel like we've blown through so many we're still at over 50. okay there's more of ordo i feel like i'm gonna max ordo out after this video just because i've gotten like a million of him and there's another epic Alistair yes that's right okay this is another cavalry hero don't love the design on him but um he could be useful we'll, we'll have to just wait and see with uh some different testing for these different epics this game obviously is very new so we have no idea like exactly how good some of these things are going to be in the late game right a lot of people are just using what they get their hands on we've got another legendary we got garwood again boys we got him again i don't even know if he's good to be honest uh he's obviously more of like i guess a garrison but he's got healing i don't really know how that actually works in this game but we got another legendary boys let's go okay we got more Ke kella kella's gonna be expertise again by the end of this video as well let's just let's just keep it moving we're below the 40 key mark here so we are actually making a dent and you can see here that Aethys just loves me he just loves me I guess I'm gonna have to use him in the early game because I just got so many of them now that it's like it would make no sense not to do it but it is what it is 
<clears throat> we're also getting a ton of resources here another legendary metal i feel like we got a lot of those at the beginning of the video and now we're getting more of them baby let's go all right but there we go another legendary metal so i'll take those uh we're definitely gonna need them now that we're getting we got so many different legendaries in this video already uh here we got more guanwin which is huge that's exactly who i'm gonna be working on uh after pen most likely here we got a bunch of wood we just got a bunch of wood okay okay what are you what are you trying to say all right we got a bunch of or some speed ups here uh even more ore and speed ups okay i'll take that um nothing too exciting here that's that's fine we've gotten a lot of good stuff in this video already um so i'll take it more legendary metals more training speed ups i think training speed ups is probably the thing we need the least out of everything here which is shocking to say uh but right now i just we need to get that city hall up to 25 here we got bakar i'll take that so that's fine um we're getting a bunch of just you know basic regular everyday regular schmegular things okay uh what's interesting though is that gold keys in uh, games like rise of kingdoms are really boring now because i already maxed everything out uh, but now we pretty much need everything so all this stuff is useful and exciting i think that it's interesting how the ore is like little cubes you ever notice that here we got more guanwin which again is huge we love to see that we got more tchotchka so we're definitely gonna be able to finish his uh his skills here very shortly as well so we love that um we have eight keys left let's see if we can get one more legendary can we get one more full legendary is that possible can we do it one thing that i noticed here is that we're not actually getting shards of of any heroes it's just full summons it's just full you either get 10 or none that's pretty much what it is and you know what i guess with the number of oh my god we got we did it we actually did it we literally got another legendary how many we got what like seven in this video and there are one percent chance like what <laughs> okay dude okay so we got nika she's an infantry legendary peacekeeping that's gonna be huge um here we can see her active skill is melee range hero skill damage physical of 1500 and bruises them reducing hp for 30 percent by 30 percent for three seconds so really powerful single target debuff and damage but it is melee range which it is that's i mean that's infantry for you right here we have 30 percent more damage to dark links and dark creatures so that's the peacekeeping right here uh night prowler says all infantry units gain 20 percent attack and 10 percent march speed that's good obviously you know march speed is something that infantry are really going to need in the open field um increases hero skill damage dealt by nika's legion by 10 percent and counterattack damage by 20 percent so there's no there's no proccing there there's nothing it's just straight up more skill damage and counter i'll take it okay when nika's legion launches a normal attack they have a 50 percent chance to deal hero skill damage of a 500 physical damage factor if the target has fewer than 50 percent units remaining it's a two second cooldown what that feels really is am i crazy that seems really good i don't know that seems really good to me but okay we got another legendary which means we have another legendary trailblazer bundle okay we get a free draw here so let's just let's just pop this open and it's ever ice so who cares and we get a free daily gold chest okay so that's 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 fine this entire video has been gold chest so let's keep it going we have six more keys we were down to one we're up to six now i don't even know how that happened but okay i'll take it let's keep let's keep it going here and we have uh we got nothing nothing crazy anything anything else crazy before the before we run out before we actually run out and we get a bunch more of Kella okay let's do our free free silver chest while we're down here. okay let's see what we get from this and it's pretty much nothing okay now we're up to 21 of the universal artifact keys so let's open these and see what we get illusory gems so this gives you additional load capacity when gathering okay that's fine I guess I'll equip that to uh let's give that to Chachka I guess I I don't know all right let's keep it going here let's open up another one and boom we have ever ice chill out and somehow we just did a quest to get us another one okay let's do a 10 pull here because I think the 10 pull animation is really cool check this out it just pulls 10 cards out of the out of the book and you get to open them up one by one let's let's open this one butcher's blade I've never gotten this one before so this is infantry and just legion attack so if this is put on an infantry you actually get six percent attack that's pretty cool so let's open up uh let's open up this one now we get boots of swiftness so just March speed okay that that could be useful let's open this one storm leaf we've had that more storm leaf enchanted coins we already had that more enchanted coins more storm leaf more enchant okay this is okay codex of prophecy we have infantry defense and two percent less peacekeeping damage taken cool 
uh that's fine and then we open the last one here is more enchanted coins all right let's open up 10 more of these and we're completing the side quest here let's pop open the middle ones harlequin mask okay more infantry stuff we're getting a lot of infantry artifacts here that's cool bone cleaver cavalry okay that's fine let's open the uh let's go from the middle out we got a crossbow rapid crossbow that's obviously for marksman veterans diary okay what is this blade of reproach cavalry and peacekeeping damage okay that's pretty big uh that's pretty big Emery's is a cavalry hero and we did get a bunch of him so anything cavalry related is probably going to go on him to be honest so that's pretty that's pretty big to be honest with you here we can forge another key okay that's sick let's go ahead and see what we get from that one storm leaf not surprising there and then we actually get uh, a couple more keys here so let's pop open this silver chest and we get nothing that we care about and then let's open up our last what is this you've obtained six epic artifacts you're now a well-known artifact collector um I guess we're gonna do it for the video I've spent like 30 or 40 dollars on this video so make sure you like it please <laughs> okay let's do another 10 pull because we can do that uh we got crown of the berserker which I have already um more crossbow boots of swiftness okay that's fine here we got the codex of prophecy which we just pulled a moment ago uh and we get the magic bomb okay this is magic unit attack and legion attack this does uh i guess aoe damage so to three targets so that's pretty cool but it does have a high rage cost so i wonder if that's actually going to be super good or not all right that's going to do it for this video guys if you enjoyed make sure you drop a thumbs up on it it really helps out the channel a ton if you're new here subscribe to the channel and click the bell to be notified the next time that i upload a call of dragons video comment down below your thoughts on my luck for this i i feel like i got a lot of legendaries for the amount of keys that i opened with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i'll talk to you guys again soon peace